Hello, it's Dr. Mintz here. I want to go over a 74-year-old female with tingling on the right side of the face. Now, you know what nerves are involved in sensation in the face, and that's predominantly the trigeminal nerve. So get a little overview of this CT. Again, she's a 74-year-old female with right-sided tingling and numbness in the face. All right, now starting down at the bottom, you should be very comfortable with this anatomy or getting there at least. Here's the foramen of ma foramen magnum, and here's the medulla, and here are the two vertebral arteries with pretty prominent calcifications. We see that pretty often, and they kind of curve around, which is normal, and then they form the basilar artery. Now the basilar artery is swinging around. Here it is at this level. This is the level of the medulla. And then when we get to the level of the pons, it's still off on the right, a little big. Okay, now follow it up higher. Calcification there, it's in the prepontine cistern. Now it's getting closer to the midline, near the interpeduncular cistern. And then here it is up higher at the level of the interpeduncular cistern. Here you see the cisterns, er, the interpeduncular system, cistern and the two cerebral peduncles. Okay, now where does the fifth cranial nerve come out? It comes out in uh, from the pons, and it comes out about here. Remember, it goes out from the lateral aspect of the pons and dives anteriorly into Meckel's cave. Meckel's cave is a structure that's just inferior to and slightly lateral to the cavernous sinus, so in this area here. So... What we have here is a very tortuous basilar artery that's swinging around, and in the process of being very tortuous like that, is swinging over to the right side and encroaching exactly on where we expect to see the trigeminal nerve. Now, even though the trigeminal nerve is rather large, it's hard to see on CT. You have to catch it exactly. But certainly, we know that it's going to be right around here and it may be even part of that little line that we're seeing there, diving forward and inferiorly toward Meckel's cave. Remember, Meckel's cave is where the trigeminal or Gesserian ganglion is located. Now, also remember that when we get out of the trigeminal nerve ganglion, we have three branches, V1, V2, V3, which go through superior orbital fissure, foramen rotundum, and foramen ovale. Okay, so here's an example of knowing the anatomy, allowing you to make the diagnosis. Because ordinarily one would look at this and say, oh, there's a tortuous basilar artery, it's a little prominent, but I don't see any tumors or infarcts of the brain stem or anything like that that would cause facial numbness. So it's purely by means of knowing the anatomy, purely because we know where that trigeminal nerve comes out, even though we don't see it that we can make the diagnosis.